Suicide rates reach highs of one million people a year. One person every 40 seconds. So in the time that it took me to get up on the stage, all of you to stop cheering, and for me to deliver that statistic, another person has taken their life. But we don't talk about that. Instead, we make jokes. Jokes about being emo and depressed. Jokes that do nothing but blind us to how serious and real these issues actually are and how deeply they affect people. How many of you have actually taken the time to think about what depression really is? How it affects its sufferers? How many of our neighbors and family and friends are fighting daily battles against an enemy which you can't see? An enemy that wins too often. Sure, we recognize the labels, but we don't understand them. And why don't we understand them? Because mental health, real, diagnosable, destructive mental health issues are not talked about enough or even taken seriously. Children and teens who come forward for help are often brushed off, their problems being labeled as just a phase. Now I ask you, is just a phase something that affects every action you take and every choice you make? Does just a phase pull you apart from your loved ones, damaging your relationships because you feel different and alone? Does just a phase stop you from eating and sleeping and smiling on almost a daily basis, the basics of a human life? They aren't phases. They aren't because we're moody teenagers, because we're sensitive, or even because it's that time of the month. We may be young, but our feelings are real and our feelings matter. We all have minds and thoughts and feelings, and every single one of us can get affected. So maybe next time that you make an insensitive joke, or you snap at someone because they seem moody, stop and think. Stop and think about the endless battles that might be going on inside their head. It's time for us to speak out. It's time we spoke out against the hundreds of thousands of suicides a year. It's time we spoke up for all of the people who were too scared to use their own voices. It's time we opened up dialogue to seek resolution, and it's time that we teach each other that it is okay for you to reach out. Reaching out does not make you weak. There are people on this planet who will do everything in their power to make you feel the way that you deserve and that is happy. This is not a losing battle. We have to love and listen to our children or we will find that we are losing them like they're losing themselves.